Delighted to be with Ian Holloway, the new manager of Swindon Town Football Club. How does that sound, Ian? Chris, it sounds um, strange, but not lovely. You know, I, it was such a shock the way it all happened, but I'm absolutely delighted. I feel first time on a Saturday I woke up for a while with a job to do. Um, and this is a, obviously a big thing for me. I've got a wonderful group of young people that I can try and mould and help and, and help give a bit of confidence to. Can you describe the process? I know it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Yeah, I said a few months ago to my wife, I had a feeling I was sort of getting on her nerves a bit because I'm a bit busy. And uh, she said, well, what if you do really, truly want to get back in, it looks like you do, why don't you just get yourself an agent? So I arranged a meeting with him um, and uh, that got cancelled. So I, he, he rang me up and said, what about tonight? Can you, can, can you come along? I went, yeah, all right. And he didn't tell me he was bringing somebody with him. And my wife, when she went, when I went out the door, she went, don't make any rash decisions about this agent. We'll talk about it. Tell him how you feel. Tell him where you want to go. But I didn't really want to move because she's moved 48 times. She don't really want to do it again. So anyway, I come back and said, I went, who's this? And he went, oh, it's a fella from Swindon. They've just haven't got their manager anymore and they want to talk to you. So... The talks went so quick and as if I'd known him all my life and before you know it, I get home and she went, well, what? I said, well, they're going to make me an offer. She said, who is? I said, well, I think it's Swindon. She only just met. I said, look, he was, there was a, this other fella there. So anyway, cut a long story short, following morning, they wanted it done. Can't believe it, but there you go. That's, it's football, you know? And I, I do feel, I, I understand how Mark must feel, but this is football. And this is what happened. So his loss is my gain, hopefully. Tim and Clinton fixated on whether that was an earring in Ian Holloway's left <laughs> ear. I think it was, but the headline is he, he's back in football. Nearly four years away. Grimsby Town was his, his last job, Tim. Uh, just, just in terms of the job he's taking on, I mean, he'll be under... And no false illusion, they, he's got a big job at Swindon Town, as I mentioned. 11 points is their worst return at this stage of a season in some 19 years. They're sitting in 22nd, but I was interested in some comments he made not so long ago because he sits on 989 games and he yeah. spoke very openly about wanting to become the latest English manager to take charge of a 1,000 games. Yeah. <laughs> Would there be a little bit of concern when you hear that, that perhaps, maybe, he's taking the job more for personal reasons than getting Swindon Town out of trouble. Is that maybe a little bit unfair? Yeah, unfair. I mean, everyone takes the job for a personal reason, don't they? I mean, first and foremost, he wants to do the best for, mm. for him and his family, and he feels like he can... Well, it sounds like his so, wife's had enough of him. Yeah, get, get, get him out of the house. <laughs> he can, um, he's a good character, and he, Ollie, you know, to manage that many football matches, I couldn't even dream of that. I mean, it's just incredible stress. Um, it doesn't matter what level you're in, uh, if, you, if you've got the heart and desire like he has... You feel it. You mm. take it home with you. He's got a big job on his hands there. It didn't work out for, for Mark Kennedy um, and plenty of other managers who have tried there. So um, I wish him well, Ollie. You know, he, de he deserves the opportunity and he'll get to a 1,000 games and he can decide where he wants to go. What makes you go back at the management, Tim? Um, I think like, I love the game, first and foremost. You want to go in, you want to, you're waiting for the, for the opportunity to come up which you feel might suit you. That's why he's took it on a short term. He's going to have a look at them. They're going to have a look at him. Um, and it's a no-lose situation for both of them. But just the, the sheer desire and the love of the game, I mean, it's the, it's the biggest attribute anyone can have I mean, as a player and as a manager. You must be enjoying your life, surely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're, yeah, we, listen, you, it's no dress rehearsal, this life. You're, oh. you're only here once and you've got to make the most of it. So you've got to decide whether you want to throw yourself back into the madhouse, which is football management, <laughs> or, uh, or try and enjoy your life and play a bit of golf. Hey! Um, and Gillingham, our, our Swindon Town's opponent today, and Gillingham, who despite being top of the party in League Two back on October the 4th, lost the last five in a row.